There are good people, but Amanda Seriano, Ring City USA, loving what Ring City's doing. They're bringing fights. They're kind of bringing these fighters that don't always get TV dates that are kind of avoided or just, and they're giving them opportunities. They're showcasing them. They're doing pre and post fight kind of vignettes, building stories around them. Amanda Seriano looked about as good as I've ever seen her look beating Danielle Bermudez, which is weird because that was one of my ex-girlfriends. So when they kept bringing that name up, it's kind of funny when like my ex-girlfriend's name is on the TV fighting this trend. Like it's just, it's a funny thing to deal with over and over. But what did you think of this one? I, I mean, I thought it was a good matchup. Again, you, you said it really well. Ring City USA is doing a phenomenal job. I mean, if we're going to talk about matchmaking, it, it's hard to imagine better repetitive week after week uh, classic fight cards. I mean, they've put together some fantastic bouts. Um, and that one was another great one. You know, I thought she was competitive. Uh, I, I didn't think that she was necessarily netting rounds, but she was she was in the fight all the way through. And, and Serrano's power just little by little. I think I said on, on Twitter in round six, I could visibly see her hurt from Serrano's um, hooks to the body, particularly that that left hook to the body um, was really bothering her, that liver shot. And I could see that. And I said, if she keeps landing that that's her money punch. And sure enough, she landed that left hook, right hook combo in round nine. And that was it. I mean, those are those are horrible punches to 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 take. And, and your body can only take so much. She she fought an incredible fight. And uh, Bermudez was a world champion. She was on the pound for pound list. I'm kind of of the thinking that I think we should just make a pound for pound list of men and women because some of these women fighters don't get recognition. So like a Clarissa Shields or an Amanda Seriano should get on the men's pound for pound list just to shake things up because Mm -hmm. I think it takes that type of like, do they belong on this list to get them the adequate coverage? But that being said, this is one of the most impressive wins I've ever seen of Amanda Seriano because this was one of the best women's fighters in the world right now. And I think that's also one of the storylines since, you know, we, we were kind of talking about this, this first quarter of the year, what's it looking like? I think that's one of the storylines is women in boxing. You know, there, there are so many great women in boxing right now that are demanding respect, that are doing great things, uh, big time accomplishments. And I know that people knock them for, for the depth of women's boxing, but again, I think having women's bouts on TV, giving them an opportunity to show their talent. Um, Seniessa Estrada is another one that just man, woman, whatever, it doesn't matter, whatever your gender is. She has some of the best footwork out of any boxer out there right now. I was so impressed with her when just seeing how quick she is on her feet, she never crosses her legs. Um, as far as like, you know, when she's kind of switching her styles, it's always the clean movement. Um, her agility is unbelievable. I would say she's fundamentally one of the most sound fighters out there right now. I I agree. Like you're saying stuff that makes sense, you know, and the, the other thing I loved was I believe it's her sister's husband got kicked out of the corner. Love antics like that in boxing. I love stuff like that. That's like kind of why I got into the sport is like, these are rough people that like, she has a rough style. It's physical. Like it's, it's a confrontational family. So it's Mm -hmm. no wonder that she's one of the most feared knockout punchers ever in boxing. And I think that what I like about Amanda Seriano is she's unapologetic in who she is. And we don't see that in women's sports that often, the unapologetic athlete. Yeah. And and I, I talked to her about two weeks before, before the actual fight. And, you know, she was giving me the rundown of how she got introduced to boxing and what she had to go through to get there. Uh, Really it was the trials in the the gym. Um, Jordan Maldonado, her, her brother-in-law and trainer, uh, he, you know, was adamant, like, I don't want you boxing and I'm going to put your sister Cindy in there to beat you up, which she did, but she, she took the punishment early on and worked through it until, you know, she was putting in good rounds and was competitive. She really wanted it. Um, I have no idea what he said in the corner. And the next time I talk to her, I'd love to hear what he said that got him kicked out of that corner. I mean, you don't see that happen. Uh, too often. There's only a handful of times that, that people brought up, but yeah, I mean, they're tough uh, and they're demanding respect and, and it's not always easy in women's boxing, but I think we're seeing a, a turn of the tide there that, that there is that equity that's starting to come around, but they're having to fight for it. And Clarissa Shields is having to do 
um, unfortunately ridiculous things to have to get it. The fact that, that her fight wasn't uh, picked up by, by a major broadcasting network is really disappointing. Um, so kudos to her for having the courage to go out there and do it herself. Well, and I'd like to see a Clarissa Shields fight on Ring City because if Ring City is mm. going to keep doing these fights, like it's great. What I'm excited about with Amanda Seriano is we've been wanting the Katie Taylor fight or we've been wanting these fights. And I, I heard a lot of people after this fight say Amanda Seriano is the best women's boxer after this fight. Now, I'm not sure. The, I think that there's it's a three way horse between Sinise Estrada, Clarissa Shields and Amanda Seriano. One four way Katie Taylor. So like it just depends on who you probably like. But now she's in the position where when she fights a big name, it's a meaningful fight. Yeah, I, I agree 100%. And, and I think that when her accolades are broadcasted and, and, and people really start to hear him like seven division champion, I mean, you don't hear that uh, too often. I mean, that's an incredible statistic, nine time champion. I mean, when you hear just the things that she's accomplished, how can you not, you know, give Amanda Serrano her respect for everything that she's done? And, and of course, the, the other fighters that you mentioned have done incredible things, too. Um, Sinias Estrada, I think, is really just getting started, hasn't even hit her prime yet. Um, you know, undisputed champions in, in Katie Taylor, in Clarissa Shields, two-time undisputed champion in Clarissa Shields. I mean, those are, are major, major accomplishments. And like you said, Ring City USA is giving – women's boxing, a much needed platform and the zones doing it as well. Um, and I think we're starting to see it kind of catch fire. And, and I hope that um, that trend continues. I think it's kind of like not to show how mature I am, but there's a major movement of female rap, women's rap. And I'm seeing a correlation to like this women's empowerment moving coming over into boxing, like that we have a lot of strong women who are just kind of taking over and they're saying, we're not going to be, um, silenced. And it kind of started with Heather Hardy for me. Heather was kind of like the first really vocal person. And though she never fully got her shine, we're seeing a lot of women from Michaela Mayer to Clarissa to Amanda Seriano saying, we're just as good as the men. And it's now they're getting broadcast on television. I think it's kind of cool. It's kind of like this era that we're, I'm just to tie it into culture. It feels that way to me. I, and that's a great point. And, and I think giving it to fighters that maybe don't get praise as much as some of the bigger names at this point, going back a few years to a Heather Hardy, um, Cecilia Brakus is another name out there that um, for years of dominance in, in, in her division, um, you know, I think was doing a lot. And, and she kind of even said to me talking to her over the last couple of years where she was seeing, you know, big numbers and having big numbers in Europe. But when she'd come over here, it wouldn't be the same thing. Um, and trying to make that that trend continue on, I thought was a big thing as well. So there has been this continuance of pioneers in women's boxing um, that that have had the fight for a long time. And I think now we're starting to get big enough names to really uh, make the work that that those other boxers started kind of push it up over the top. And I think there's a real united front there. Well, it's to me, it's really ridiculous when like people ask me, like, why will I watch women box? Because it's boxing. I -hmm. like boxing. So it's not a gender specific sport for me. So for me, it's like a mind blower when I'm like, I watch boxing, I watch amateur boxing, I watch pro boxing. But for some people, the fact that it's a woman takes away the sport and I get the WNBA or all that that isn't as popular. But it's still kind of crazy for me because th- what we're watching is a fist fight between two people that say, I'm a bad person. You're a bad person. Let's meet at this said date. Let's set a dollar figure and let's see who's tougher. It's flat out interesting to me. And I think a woman that goes through that journey is an interesting person. And it, it always has blown my mind. The fact that a lot of people just from the from the rip are uninterested in these bouts. Yeah, I, I agree 100 um, percent. And, and I think too that that there are a lot of people that that you know talk about the knockouts of this or the that. And my one of my arguments that I made a few weeks ago in um, I think it was after the Shields fight I want to say uh, was that hey you know I think three minute rounds for women would go a long way. And I, I, it has nothing to do with just the knockouts; it's just the equality of boxing. That if you're going to say hey men can fight three minute rounds, why can't women? Um, you're only giving them sixty six percent of the time in the ring as a man. Um, and, and to me, that's not okay. It's, I think, why can't they handle it? I I don't quite know the rationale for two minute rounds versus three minute rounds. You know, they're, they're pros, they're warriors. 
let them go out there and fight the same amount of time as a man. I don't get what the problem is. And they deserve that platform and they deserve equal time in the ring. Um, and I think you would, you would see even better fights. It almost feels rushed when it's a two minute round. It feels too fast that, that it's hard to get a, a rhythm. I think in two minutes versus three minutes, that's my personal take. It's, it's true. It's just, like mm-hmm. the round starts. It's over. Mm-hmm. Like Clarissa Shields fight against Marie Eve de Carey. Um, Every round, it felt like when she started to find her, the round's over. Mm-hmm. So it's like, oh, yeah. she's catching her, and now the round's over. Okay, time to go for a minute and a half and then try exactly. to well, figure it out. In this MMA, there's no difference. The, the time's the same. The rounds are the same. There's no difference there. So, I, you know, when we see it in MMA that it's equal, you know, the rules are the same. Why, why aren't the rules the same in boxing? To me, it doesn't make any sense. Um, and, and I think that would make a big difference. And, and, and like you said, having it, trying to really put together a rhythm and then having it interrupted. Um, how many times do we see in, in, in a fight where in a three minute round, that last minute or that last 30 seconds um, are really the most fascinating? Well, if you have a two minute round, it, it you're really rushing it to get to that point. And, and there seems like there's something missing. Um, you give anyone less time to really put on a great performance. You're, you're taking something away from them, in my opinion. And it, I think it also it makes people have to focus more on winning than being exciting because mm-hmm. now it's more of a sprint. Now let's switch over to Alexander Pavek and Dillian White. I was kind of critical of this. 